budget and the plan means very so you all know like munnar is very famous for his greenery and all i let me tell you like there are four direction you can visit in munnar so one is kochi direction Hi everyone welcome back to our channel Asa Documentary so i think you all are doing good i hope you have watched our kerala related videos so if if you have not watched our videos please go check it out our videos links are in description box so those who are new to our channel i just want to let you know that in this channel you will be able to enjoy all the videos related to history nature and many other things so i would like to suggest you If you like our videos please don't forget to like share subscribe to our youtube channel so today we will discuss about the itinerary of our kerala trip so those who are planning to visit kerala so it will be very helpful to them and because we will we will be providing all the details related to the cost budget and the plan means where you want where you have to go and how you have to go all the things in this video so without wasting any time let's get started First of all I just want to let you know like Kerala is a very good place for those people who are nature lover. So you can visit Kerala with your families and as well as many people go to Kerala in her in their honeymoon as well. So Kerala is a very beautiful place with too much greenery, waterfalls, temples, beaches and many other things. So let's discuss how can you plan your Kerala trip. There are different ways by which you can plan your Kerala trip. So you can you can go by a flight and you can also go by train as well. Okay, if you are planning to go to Kerala by flight, so you will be able to you have you have to start your journey from Kochi. You will get flight to Kochi from any other major cities like Hyderabad, then uh, like uh, Kolkata and others other cities. And if you are planning to go Kerala uh, by train, then you have to go to Ernakulam rail station. So let me discuss how we have planned for Kerala. Okay, we have started our journey from Hyderabad. So we book up, we booked a flight from Hyderabad to Kochi, and in a morning and around like 11 a.m. we have reached in Kochi International Airport. After reaching out to Kochi, first you have to go to Fort Kochi. The distance between Kochi International Airport and Fort Kochi is around 44 kilometers. So it will take uh, around like one hour to half an hour based on the traffic and all to reach there. Fort Kochi is a very beautiful place which I will discuss later in this video. Like uh, what we did after reaching out to Kochi International Airport, we took a cab and we started our journey to Fort Kochi. It's better to book the hotels uh, before you start your journey. because uh, because then your journey will be very comfortable if everything is booked and settled down if you want any uh, any suggestion related to hotels and all just comment in the description box we'll get any another video i want to continue this video with the itinerary and all so let me tell you 
like uh, after one hour you will reach to Fort Kochi and after that you can check into a hotel and freshen up and have your lunch and after that you can start your journey to you can visit you can start your journey and you can book a uh, like scooty so let me tell you uh, the the cost of a scooty for one day they actually charge around 800 to 900 so you can easily book a scooty after having lunch and then you can start your journey and you can see different type of local sightseeing in Fort Kochi. There are different types of uh, church. There are different type of places in Fort Kochi like Vasco da Gama Square and then a Chinese fishing net, then uh, Santa Cruz Basilica, then then Dutch Palace is there. Different type of local sightseeing are there and I, I hope you will really enjoy there. In this way you can spend the evening in the Fort Kochi. Uh, let me tell you one thing that it is not mandatory to visit Fort Kochi. Actually, uh, one day is enough for Fort Kochi. Like in this way, we have visited all the local sightseeing in Fort Kochi. Okay, if you want to skip to stay in Fort Kochi, then also you can skip that. So based on your convenience, your budget, you can choose the itinerary. Next day, we started our journey towards Munnar. So you all know, like Munnar is very famous for its greenery and all. Again, there are two ways to reach Munnar can choose bus or you can also choose uh, I think cab based on your convenience and based on your budget if we want to choose bus let me tell you like for that you have to go to Enakulam bus station okay and the distance between Kochi to Munnar is like around 126 km so by bus it will surely take 4 to 5 hours and but the cost will be little bit less so the cost will be around like 300 to 400 rupees and if you want to choose cab, you can also even a cab from Port Kochi and you can go to the Munnar. By cab, if you want to go, it will take around 3 to 4 hours and uh, like it will uh, like it will cost you around 3000 to 4000 rupees. You can plan for two uh, minimum two days in Munnar because you know like Munnar is full of greenery, then adventures, waterfalls and tea gardens and the botanical garden is also there. So you have minimum like two days to spend in Munnar and if you have more days then also it will, it will be fine but two days I think you have to spend there to enjoy the uh, to enjoy the mesmerizing view of Munnar. Once you reach out to Munnar you have to check into the hotel and you just you can just freshen up and after that after having lunch you can start uh, to see local sightseeing. There are two ways you can explore Munnar. You can book a auto as well and at the same time you can also book cab as well. So definitely auto will be a little bit cheaper than cab. Uh, let me tell you like there are four directions you can visit in Munnar. So one is Kochi direction, uh, Mathupeti direction, then Koyambatu direction and the fourth one is Mangalam direction. Actually Mathupeti direction is famous for its heaven view. So if you have planned Munnar for only two days, then you can visit the Mathupeti direction and Kochi direction. As we have planned Munnar for two days, so we have visited only two directions. But if you, if you have enough time, if you, if you are spending three days or four days in Munnar, then you can visit all the four directions and I hope you will surely enjoy it. In Kochi direction, you will be able to enjoy adventure park. Some viewpoints are also there and then some waterfalls are there. Uh, and some there is one uh, like uh, factory is there uh, Kerala sari factory is also there so you can go and check it out and if you like any sari you can also buy sari and you can also uh, do some shopping and all we visited Kochi direction on the same day okay and uh, and after visiting Kochi direction there is a very famous show that is also there like uh, that is Kathakali show which is uh, which is famous in Kerala and Martian Art show as well. So you can after visiting Kochi direction you can also go to the center and you can just enjoy the Martian Art and Kathakali dance there. We visited Kochi direction on the same day on which day we reached Munnar and uh, next day after having breakfast we started our journey towards Mathupeti direction. So again uh, as I mentioned earlier there are two ways by which you can visit Munnar like by which you can visit all the sightseeing and all. So you can take by auto and also you can take by car as well like cab as well. 
now in the mathavati direction there are so many view points so many places you can uh, you can cover you can enjoy if you take auto then definitely your budget uh, your cost will be less and if you take uh, car cab then your cost will be high now uh, so in the uh, like mathavati direction you can visit different view points like you can visit sunset points rose garden botanical garden then kundana lake mathavati dam and uh, eco point and there are so many places okay and one view point is also there and from there you can see all the you can see like all of munnar and all the greenery uh, so it will take hardly 3 4 hours to enjoy the all the view points uh, in the mathavati direction and then uh, once uh, like actually they then once like around was six or seven from pm and you can go to your hotel and you can chill out and you can have dinner and then you can uh, go for the sleep one of the very special attraction of munnar is konukumalai view point okay uh, if you are really interested to see the konukumalai view point like it is famous for the uh, i mean sun shining actually so you have to go there in the early morning and enjoy the sun shine and then you have to come back so if you are really interested to go to keruko konukumana then you have to after after like visiting all the view points in the mathavati direction you have to head it towards suryanalli on the same day it the distance between uh, like munnan and suryanalli is around 30 km so it will take hardly like 30 minutes to 1 hour in the by the cab and there you can ch- check into a hotel and uh, i can also mention you i want to also mention you like uh, to go to konukumalai only transportation is jeep so you have to hire a jeep and it will cost you around 2500 and you have to go to the uh, go to that view point in the early morning and you have to see the sunset and you have to enjoy the sunset so based on your budget you can decide like whether you you you, are, you opt for the konukumalai view point or not so like uh, like it's it's depend on you In this way we visited uh, only two direction in the Munnar one is Kochi direction and other one is Mathavati direction. And the next day we headed towards uh, Thekdi. Before that I want to mention that like for Munnar we have two detailed videos and you can surely enjoy those videos. Links are in the description box so I will request you please check out the videos and and uh, like share and subscribe. Okay so after visiting the Konukumalai view point you can go to your hotel in Suryanalli and you can have your breakfast and then you can start your journey towards Thekdi the distance between uh, Munnar to Thekdi is around 91 km and by cab it will take hardly like 3 to 4 hours okay again there are two ways by which you can like uh, you can go to Thekdi Thekdi like uh, you can take a bus from uh, like Suryanalli to Kopara bus station and pupara again I, i can i want to mention you like it is a beautiful place it is one of the village of munnar actually and it is full of ginari and the journey uh, throughout the in the bus you will really enjoy it and uh, from pupara bus station you can you have to again take a bus and then you will uh, go to the kumli bus station which is a bus station of thekri uh thekri is a very like famous place in the kerala like uh, some people you uh, used to some people visit thekri and some people also skip thekri uh, so i i want to tell you like if you have uh, like enough budget and if you have enough time that you must visit thekri for once actually a uh, let me mention you if you take cab then it will cost you around 30000 uh, like rupees and definitely if you take bus then obviously the uh, time of the journey will be um, like little bit uh, like more and obviously your cost will be little bit less so based on your budget you can decide in thebri the most uh, like the one of the very famous attraction is periyar tiger reserve it is periyar national park okay uh, it is very famous for its uh, for the occurrence of the wild animals uh, so if time permits then you can now uh, visit the periyar national park on the same day but in time does not permit then also no problem you can visit the national park on the uh, next morning and i can say like in the morning the occurrence of the wild animals is very high so it will be better if you like visit uh, periyar national park in the morning only and in the thekri you can plan for the one day of stay because uh, like one day is enough uh, to explore thekri actually 
and in the and the, on the next day, on the same day actually the day in which like you have uh, reached a b there are two things you can do after having your lunch and breakfast and after checking into the hotel and two things you can do that is like um, you can visit the elephant park and you can ride elephant it's like uh, it's like really with uh, it's like so much fun to ride the elephant so i enjoyed elephant ride very much let me tell you and one more thing you can do like like oh, in Mumbai, but like I have already earlier I have mentioned like Kathakali Kathakali show and martial arts show went there. In the same way, in the Thakri also you can enjoy a uh, Kathakali dance show and martial arts show. So like if due to any reason if you have missed to be to uh, uh, like enjoy the shows in the Mumbai, then no worry. Like in the Thakri also you can enjoy the same. Let me mention you the cost cost of elephant ride in the elephant junction is uh, like five hundred rupees. When I say Munna, the cost of elephant ride is uh, seven hundred rupees. Uh, so it 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 depends on you like whether you can do elephant ride in Munna or in Thakri. Like wherever you know, like you I I know like you will say only enjoy the elephant ride. But uh, like just for information, I just want to tell you. And one more thing, the cost of Kathakali Kathak dance show and martial art is around six hundred rupees in Munnar, whereas in the Thakri the uh, price is around five hundred rupees. That is also like depends on you, like when you want to enjoy the uh, shows and all. Uh, in this way, you can enjoy your whole day in the Thakri. In the evening, after like watching the show, after enjoying the show, you can also buy like some chips and chocolates. As you know, like chips, like Kerala is all famous for its chips and chocolates. You can also buy those chips and chocolates for your dear one. One more thing, banana chips is also very famous in Kerala. You can also buy some banana chips and you can enjoy the like food and all. On the next day morning, we started after having breakfast. We started our journey towards Alappi. Alappi is very famous for its backwaters. So, if you want to enjoy the beauty of backwaters, then you should surely visit Alappi for at least once. Okay, so the distance between Thevri and Alappi is around 137 km, and if you take cab, it will take around four to four to five hours, uh, like to reach Alappi. Okay, so uh, like uh, there are actually there are very few options uh, for bus here from Thevri to Alappi, so we choose our uh, we choose cab only for this journey. Okay. And it will cost you around four thousand rupees. Okay, so here the budget will be little bit more. And in Alappi, like you can uh, reach there and you can check into a hotel. And once after having the lunch, you can uh, you can go to see the backwaters. You can go for the uh, to see to enjoy the view of the backwaters. Uh, let me mention you one thing. Like some people also stay in the houseboat in uh, like Alappi. And you can also uh, stay in the houseboat for one hour or two hours, and you can enjoy the view of the backwaters. Okay, if you want to stay for one hour, two or two hours, then it will cost you around two thousand to three thousand rupees. So based on your budget, you can decide like whether you want to stay there for the whole night, or you can uh, stay for the one hour or two hour hours. Okay. But let me tell you, this will be a very good experience for you, which you will remember throughout your life. You will enjoy the like backwaters, like the greenery, the coconut trees, and or memories and all. It will be staying with you throughout your life. We decided to stay in the houseboat for one hour or two hours, like hardly two hours. We have stayed there. Once you are done with visiting backwaters, you can also go to Alappi Beach. And the distance between that uh, backwaters and the Alappi beach is around five kilometer. So you will get auto, like share auto, or any. You can also reserve a auto. It will take forty fifty rupees, and you can go to the uh, Alappi beach. In Alappi beach, like you can enjoy there, like very much. You can chill out there. You can take a cup of coffee. You can enjoy the roar of the sea, and uh, like in this way, like you can chill out there, and in this way you can end up. In the Alappi, so like we have stayed there for one day, and easily you can you can plan for one day in Alappi, and I I just must tell you like you will surely enjoy it. So next.
next day we started our journey towards uh, Trivandrum. So the distance between Trivandrum and Alappi is around 153 km. If you take a cab then it will take 3 to 4 hours and if you take bus then it will take 5 to 6 hours. And you can get a bus uh, from Alappi to Trivandrum from Alappi bus station. Okay. Uh, we prepared a cab there and it, 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 it took around 3-4 hours for us. And uh, once we reached to the Tibandram bus station, we headed towards Kovalam. So the distance between Kovalam Beach and uh, Tibandram bus station is around 15 km. So if you book Ola, then it will take hardly 30 minutes. Kovalam, as you all know that it is one of the famous beach of Kerala. So once we reached the Kovalam Beach, we checked into a hotel, freshen up, and we went for a delicious lunch. Okay. The let me tell you the cost of the food near Kovalam Beach is little bit high, but if but you will surely enjoy the ambience of the food and ambience of the restaurant and all. And after that, once we have our lunch, then we enjoyed a lot in Sea Beach. We sat hours and hours. We enjoyed the beauty of sea, and we were surprised to see like how the sea is so fearless and the waves of sea. So we enjoyed a lot there. And then went, we went for uh, to see the local like market of Kovalam Beach. There also we enjoyed like very much like different type of stuffs are there. Well, like if you like to shop there, you can also shop different type of like uh, like western well wares are there. You can buy something if you want. And after that, uh, we went for uh, dinner and we had a delicious food. Next morning, we went to the beach again and after having a bath uh, in the beach and after enjoying a lot, we headed towards Tivandram city once again. Uh, we booked a hotel near Padma Bhusami temple. And as you know, like Padma Bhusami temple a very, is a very famous temple of Vishnu. So if you are planning for Kerala, don't miss out to visit Padma Bhusami temple. And there are other temples as well, like Atapul temple, that is a temple of Devi Shakti. So you can visit there as well. Let me tell you, in Padma Bhushami temple, uh, women are not allowed to enter the temple with uh, any western dresses. They, they need to wear only sari or long skirt. And gents are not allowed to enter the uh, temple with the pants and starts, okay? Uh, you need to wear uh, dhoti only. Uh, if you are not to, like willing to buy new dhoti, that is also fine. You will get rented dhoti there. You can rent uh, dhoti and then you can enter the temple. After visiting temples in the evening, we went to visit Pothi Mall. Pothi, Pothi Mall is one of the famous mall in Kerala, in Devandra. You can also visit Lulu Mall, that is also very famous. Pothi Mall is yes, in Pothi Mall. You will get uh, like it is famous for all South Indian sarees. If so, if you are really passionate about sari, then don't miss to check out Pothi Mall. Then you will get all the saris of uh, different range, range based on your budget. You can buy sari for your dear one and then you can enjoy there a little bit. You can uh, have some snacks and all. Then like you can go to your hotel. Uh, next day, we like uh, headed towards Konnakumari actually. Uh, so let me tell you the distance between Kannakumari and Trivandrum is like around 90 km. By cab it takes around 2 to 3 hours. You can also go there by bus but you have to do great journey actually. There is uh, no like um, direct bus between Trivandrum and Kannakumari. Kannakumari is a coastal town uh, in the state of Tamil Nadu. It is also famous for its unique sunrise and sunset point. And again, it is also famous for its 41 meters uh, long Thiruvallavar statue and Vivekananda Rock Memorial. Kannakumari Beach is also a spot uh, where Triveni Sangam is there. That means uh, the Kannakumari Beach, uh, there, like the meaning of Triveni Sangam means here Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea, and uh, Indian Ocean. The meeting of Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea, and Indian Ocean. Uh, we had some time, that's why we planned to visit Kannakumari. As the distance between Trivandrum to Kannakumari is, uh, it is not very far away. It is like only around 90 km. So if you don't have enough time, then also it's fine. Like you can finish your journey to Trivandrum. 
and uh, like and you can stop there uh, but if you have been a pet then you can definitely think twice and you can visit kannakumari as well same day evening we have taken our flight from trivandrum international airport to hyderabad in this way we ended our kerala trip and it was a nice trip we enjoyed a lot i hope you will get uh, information from our itinerary journey if you like our video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you want to know anything else if you want to know any information related to the trip and hotel and all you can comment below we'll try to definitely answer your question so that's all uh, about this video so i hope you like our video uh, i'll see you in the next video uh, till then bye take care